So Israeli Foreign Minister Eli Cohen wants us to believe that it was Israel that invented falafel. He shared a picture of himself on Twitter eating a falafel sandwich, um, pouring tahini from an empty bottle for some reason, in which he says falafel with tahini, the most delicious, the most Israeli, or something to that effect. But did Israel actually invent falafel? Well, we know that that can't be the case because falafel has been sourced by historian to something that goes over a thousand years ago. Israel was invented or created up the ruins of historic Palestine leading to the Nakba and the genocide of the Palestinians and the ethnic cleansing of nearly a million Palestinians. That was in May 15, 1948 that Palestinians recognized the Nakba as the day, the catastrophic day in which Palestine was destroyed. But that process of genocide was also followed or accompanied by another process that is of ethnocide, claiming everything that Palestinians have done culturally, historically, even linguistically to be the achievements of Israel. And voila, suddenly Israel has something called the Israeli kitchen, which is entirely a Palestinian kitchen. Um, so that kind of sorts out the issue that Israel did not actually invent falafel. But who did invent falafel? As a Palestinian, I'm actually quite proud that everybody in this region makes claims to the same cultural symbols, food, and elements. For example, hummus, falafel, kofiya, um, and many other things. Palestinians, Lebanese, Syrians say that it was the Sham region that invented these things. Egyptians have a very strong case to make that it was actually ancient Egyptians that have done so. But some historians found that the roots of the word falafel is not just Arabic, which comes from filfil, which means pepper. But the roots are actually found in Persian and Sanskrit. It means that falafel has been going on for such a long time. At that point, it didn't really matter who invented falafel. Because falafel was not a political tool. Falafel was a cultural uh, symbol of nations that coexisted together, overlapped. The borders of these nations expanded and shrunk over time. At one point in time, the Roman Empire following the demise of the, uh, the Roman Republic was actually essentially Middle Eastern Mediterranean. The borders were covering much of the East Mediterranean and North Africa and of course much of Southern Europe today. So in a sense, we all invented falafel. We all, we all invented culture. It was not something that was so unique and provisional to any region or a country. And this is why I say, as a Palestinian, I am proud to say we all invented this together. It doesn't belong to me. It doesn't belong to you. It's an outcome of civilizational growth that lasted for hundreds, if not thousands of years. The problem with Israel is that Israel, when they try to claim something, although many of them come from Poland, Ukraine, Latvia, and, and, and other parts of the world is that they try to erase another nation in the process. That's the problem. This way, it's not really cute or funny for Israelis to come and talk about the Israeli kitchen. It's quite dangerous because in that process of claiming something that belongs to Palestinians or to Arabs or Muslims or to Middle Easterns, that it belongs to Israel, in that same process, there's an active process of ethnocide taking place in Palestine, the erasure of Palestinian, Arab, Islamic, and Christian cultures in Palestine and replacing them of an invented culture, in a way, kind of rewriting history. Eli Cohen's picture um, of a falafel sandwich and associating that with Israel's Independence Day should give us all a pause. Israel doesn't belong in that region because Israel is a colonial power. It doesn't mean that Palestinians want the genocide of the Israelis, far from it. But in order for you to exist in that region, you have to learn how to coexist. This is why we, own, we all own falafel together and hummus and pita bread and everything else. But we also own a shared history together. Israel cannot superimpose itself over Palestinian, Arab, Muslim and Christian Middle Eastern history. Israel has to belong in that history, and the only way it can belong to that history is to learn to coexist with the Palestinians.